Right, Steve, what are we doing today anyway? We've got a, well, we've got a sump pan to fit. Yeah. With a, a nice addition. Yeah, because this is this is part two of the turbo build, because this is what you have to do. You need This is for your oil return. Don't worry about it. We've got a blanking plug for now. Until um, we get a turbo. Yeah, it's just still waiting on it. And we have new baffles. Yeah, yeah. Which is... Looks like a pair of 3D goggles, doesn't it? You know what I mean? I was going to say, you might, it might be alright if you keep like, kept a mouse. It's smart, isn't it? Our little mouse trap. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, so that, that is a, a clockwise, I think that's the name of the company. I think yeah. yeah. Drop in baffle. Uh, yeah, so it drops in that way? I think you let go of it to do it. It's not doing it itself. No, yeah, maybe it uh, goes that way a bit. Yeah, that's ah, it. there we go. Yeah, yeah so, uh, so it lines up on that, on that rib on there. Like that, and then that, that there goes over your oil pickup pipe. We'll, pick assume, pipe, so. we'll, assume, we'll, we'll see when we get the sump off, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So we're doing that. Firstly, and, and this, this. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've noticed that this comes with a lot of like nice filings and... Freebies. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of all them first. Yeah. They're going to go via the pressure washer. Yep. We'll give it a good scrub inside and out. Yeah. So, so this is a spare sump. I bought this already with that welded on. So you would need to get that on, which is a 10 a.m. fitting for your oil return. Oh, it's got a little mark on it. Smart. It doesn't matter if it works. Some Miller's Nano Drive, genuine Honda filter, some sealant, and a non genuine Mugen oil cap just to finish the job to make it look smart. Right. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. I suppose one of the advantages is you can break that one. Oh, I don't need the plug there, don't I? Quite enough oil, like. Yes, yeah, so this is to change the sump, unfortunately, it needs to lower the sump frame. Subframe. So yeah, it's either lowered or removed. Yeah. Hopefully, so, hopefully lowered. It's lowered. Yeah. I reckon yeah. it will need a few couple of inches, maybe. Hopefully. hopefully. At least we know this is already being out. Yeah. The bolts are being out because we did the did the, the, the poly, poly, poly bushes, bushes yeah. and that the other week. So it's not been out long. So poly bushes are working well, aren't they? Yeah. Feel great. Made a nice difference. Uh, so yeah. So that is today's task on the Civic. Um, yeah, part so part pressure with the turbo build. Yeah, this is part two. Let's pressure wash. So we're going to start with. We're going to have a go. Uh, we're, we're going to use actually GO 101 um, of the brake cleaner. We're actually going to give it a good scrub, make sure everything's dry afterwards. And uh, like I say, on the outside you can see there's a little bit, you can see like the dust and there's, yeah. whether it's metallic -y or brick or bricks, a little bit of grit or something like that. So we'll take all that off. Do the outside as well. Hopefully we'll make it a nice, a little bit nicer yeah. compared to. Some of them take all the markings off, so we'll give it a good spray, let it sit for a little bit, give it a good brush, and then pressure wash it off and see where we go. Yep. This is a bit where we'll speed it up and put the music on. Front and the back one, which we saw before, we've actually just noticed as yeah, well. If you can see there's, it, there's a little split. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, I can just make it out here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's good. Has anybody else had this issue? Does anybody know why it's happened or anything like that? Is it a defect or is it just the, that's it's what I do? It's not actually fully split, but still, yeah, mm. it's actually still joined at the bottom. But yeah, it's that's not good. So that's interesting. That's a nice find. Cool. So, yeah, we'll start dropping the sump frame and then we'll look at the sump. I won't drop my phone in there either. No, don't. No, no.
better actually, eh? Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, took a fair old crack when they started. Yeah. Oh yes, you've got two 14s then, weren't they, Steve? Two 14s are going sideways, and then you've got, I don't know how many it is. Oh, fucking Pooble. 12 maybe. Two, three, four, five, six. Six that way. Probably the same. Six that this way, and, and then three, three or four. Probably the best part of 20. Yeah, and that, that there is this side here is obviously the side that where the subframe is going to be in the way. So hopefully, because we've dropped it down that much, which is. Well, I'd say that's 20 inches, judging by my hand span there. It's a penis gel. Um, you mix them millimetres and inches up again. Uh, yeah. right, so when you come to take your sump off, you've got two bolts in here with a little plate, which I'll show you on the bench afterwards. That's because you need to remove that, because there's actually another two bolts up there for your sump to be removed. You got a light? I've got a light. Yeah, so you can see the other two bolts there. That's all then. So now every sump bolt is now out. So I'll lay down in a nice little pan there, just to make sure they're all the same length. And that's the two with the little plate there. And there's two 14s somewhere, I don't know where they've gone to, but they are there. So that's them. So now. All, all out bar. No, yeah, I've still, no, no. There's still still one in hiding in oh, there. There's still one hiding there. And there's still one hiding right up at the top of here. That's there's still another two to go yeah. that I can see. This has actually got more bolts than we thought then. A lot more. It must be 20. Got to be, haven't they? Yeah. All the bolts are the same length, which is useful, so you don't need to worry about where they went or where they came from. But just in case you wondered, they're all the same. So now it comes oh. levering down, which is is tight. Just going to a hammer. Luckily, we have a spare sump here. Look for there, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, double check. Everything's out, we're good. That's it. That's it moved. As you can see, this sealer here has potentially been on there since 2005. I would say probably has been. Let's find out if we've dropped the subframe down enough. It's nearly on, fine. I can't remember where else. Making sure you get your face in this video, Steve. Oh, yeah. All right, so if you look in there, if you can see in there, you can see in there. Um, you can see the pickup. The torch always helps. It does. You can see there that we ain't going to get this sun pad because of how low the subframe is. We need to remove the subframe. Well, not remove it, but it's already down a lot more. It needs to go a lot further, yeah. Uh, a lot lower. But, yeah, it's in there. There's actually still a lot of oil in there, you can now see in this video. Oh, there is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. We'll have that drained out as well before we drop this any further. Yeah, because otherwise it'll make a mess of someone's face, probably mine. Mm. But there you go, so yeah, so you need to take it down a lot further than that. Which is, as, as I measured by my fingers, 20 inches. Sorry, no problem. Only a couple of inches. You probably need to go around another what, three or four inches, don't we? Another so, three or four, aye. Yeah. Or whether it might have to be this arm. Yeah, possibly, aye. Possibly drop the arm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So the new, <laughs> probably really easy. Let me give something to pull up. So the new plan is that what I've done is we've taken the bolts out of the arm. I'm going to pull the arm out the side, hopefully, which might not work. Um, maybe you want that off. Maybe you don't. Is it going to go? There's one out. Yeah, there's the other out. Yeah, definitely going to be easier taking the wheel off if you're ever doing it. Yeah. So this now should mean that we can put the subframe down, hopefully enough to get the sump out. Because it needs to go out a good bit more than we had it, as we've mentioned about four times already. I like to keep repeating myself. But it's sadly me. Fuck it out. Right, there you go. So there you go, pull the arm out, drop the front bit down. You could. You can't even pull the arm out, it's just out on the, this corner here, really, isn't it? Yeah. So, but yeah, you could take the arm off. If you want yeah, to. I think the proper way would be to wheel off, subframe out. That'll be the proper way of doing it. Yeah. And hopefully that. Now, this should hopefully clear. It's definitely like some dowels, it's, isn't it? It's on them dowels again. Loves those dowels. 
I'll tell you something, if anyone's watching, Honda dolls are probably the best dolls ever. No, no, we put a second bolt in. Oh, right, okay. That, that, it also loves the, uh, loves the bolt. We can edit that bit out, Steve. Uh, yeah, if you want. Uh, now we'll leave it in. Now we'll leave it in, aye. Down and out. Nice. There is. Room, but you've always going to have your residue of oil. Oil. Good. Yeah. That's it. And there is your oil pump and stuff that you really don't matter about. But that's it there. It's exciting. That's the underside of the engine. Wow. Look at it go. You can't see it in the film, that's all right. Oh, that's all right then. So. <laughs> We're leaking stuff. Still leaking Never mind. stuff. Never mind. Right, it's dripping on me. Oh, fucking ass, have So as you push up, you baffle. Yeah. Yeah, oil pump, oil pickup pipe up here, yep. sits into here, and basically it locks itself around. So we were trying to figure out how far it's supposed to lock round or anything. It actually locks to about there. So you've got the, the rounded part, yep. and then it ends up like the, the flat plate. So there's your rounded bit, and then yep. it ends up in your flat plate in there. So as it would come up, it just locks around. Absolutely beautiful fit. Oh yeah. That's yeah. really good design. So we'll drop very it into drop, drop it into the sump and just lift the whole thing up in one go. Awesome. That's a very good and design. As you open it, as you drop it back down again, it just opens itself back up. Yeah, because of course, because it will just start to pull on that as yep. you lift up. Yep. Very clever. Like it. Like it. Right, so to fit your clockwise baffle, all you do is push it in. See, so yeah, as Steve's doing, make sure you clean all your sealant off, which is coming out so nice straight. Definitely going to be easier to get up with more in the subframe. Yep, you have loads more space, would you? Yeah. Steve's now tightening up the bolts. I'll put them in. Put, put them in. Put them in. Put them in. 36 of them in. Um, and then there's a pattern to tighten this up apparently, but I can't find it. So we're just going to do like what we'd normally do, which is start at the centre and work out. And work out. So you do like you do one there, then you'd go that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, you know, like that. If someone can Google it, there's probably one on Google, but my Google doesn't seem to find. Maybe you've got, maybe I've got a safe search on. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. But yeah, and this is 
this handy second hand sump if you can make it out it's got a greddy oil buddy bung oh, magnetic amazing and well, that's just modification straight away is it just fit for what's up what's coming there's the torque wrench I'll set this slightly, probably slightly too high, have we? I'd just buy a couple of little meters. Yeah. But... I, mean, I think about eight, eight to nine is roughly what it should be, I reckon. Because but... they're only small little bolts anyway, so this is a set of it's a 10, isn't it? Start at 10 newton meters. So this is the lowest yeah. set, so 10, 10's all right. Click. It is literally like hand tight. It is, isn't it? There is your VTEC orange gasket. Or cream cheese, cream or cheese, whatever Primula. Other brands Primula. might be available. Um, yeah, so that's that. All back in. Next thing we need to do is because oil's going to piss out of that if we didn't do it. There's a cap that I bought for the meantime. So obviously this is this is for the future of turbo in the car because it's not happening today. Hopefully it'll be happening. Only part two. There's only part two, I suppose. Yeah, there's probably going to be 47 parts in this because um, the next 45 will be when it's blown up. But. We'll see. A, a rubbery bungle in there already. Well, does this does this work? With a penny? Was oh, it not quite, No, it's uh, um, it's it's 20, 20 cent. Wow. I think he used to make music. He did, didn't he? Yeah, a, a genuine twenty cent. Life of America? Uh, no, Euro. Oh, Euro, Euro 20. Euro 20 cent. So then we can put some oil in, which we've got. I think I showed it already, but we've got Miller's oil. Oh, yeah, we need to do the take that off as well. Yeah, we didn't take the oil filter off yet. But anyway. Yeah, so the oil filter removal will lubricate your drive shaft and keep it rust free for a long time because obviously this has not had the filter off in a while because it's got a bit rusty so that's how you know when your Civic needs an oil change if your split shaft's looking a bit rusty so yeah here's a tool there's a filter me? no I don't it's <laughs> a bit harsh there we go a bit of drips straight off your subframe Anti-corrosion on the subframe. Yeah, so it's the only part of my subframe that will live on. I will probably have to get another one, actually. I mean, there's nothing, it, it, structurally it's fine, it's just, looks horrendous, isn't it? Could be. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll replace that at some point. But, there you go, look at these drips. Let's have a watch of that, it's soothing. This could be like, I don't know. A nightmare. That's a really, really stupid design, isn't it? I suppose, I mean, where else were you going to put it, but... Most people might have to put them out the way. Yep. Of everything. There you go. Oh, genuine filter come off. Genuine, good genuine filter going back on it. Genuine on. <laughs> Dock your oil filters together. Oh, nice little bit on there. Oh, there you go. Bit of runnage. So we'll swap the Honda oil filter. For, for, for a Honda oil filter. Honda. Slightly different design, but. Looks the same. So the Civic's now more lightweight than it was originally. Good Keep these cars. Even lighter than when it got carbon fiber on it last one. That made it heavier, strangely. Top up. Yeah, I think we can. Okay. So we've got ourselves a Mugen style, I'm guessing, oil cap to finish the job, which came with this, which wasn't stuck on it and didn't have sticky tape on it. So it now has. Now I'm going to make a mess of this, putting it on. Wow. Speed holes. Let's have a quick look at the carbon as well. quite smart really right so to finish the video we're doing the totals um we do the total for this video and the rolling total for the turbo conversion so far so well done fitting 
uh, AM10 one is about four pound. Uh, the sump cost me fifty pound uh, with the fit already welded on. You can weld it onto your own sump, so you don't need to worry about that cost. Um, the oil was seventy eight pound for that was six liters, so I got extra. The baffle was one ninety and the oil filter ten pound, so that's three hundred thirty two pound, and that puts us at the rolling total of when I work it out five three seven. We haven't even fit the turbo yet. It's going to be costly. So that's all the parts up to date that I've used. And the prices and everything I can find a link for, I will put it in the description of this video. Um, because obviously, like the sump was second hand and some of the bits came from different places, but I will try and put links for everything in the video. So that's us to date 537.